Good morning, good morning, my entrepreneur crafters. Inspirational Tuesday here. Time to actually go into something inspirational. But before I go into it, just want to introduce myself. My name is Talina Bacon. I'm a business coach for women in the handmade craft industry. I help women make money doing what they love. So, wanted to go in and do Inspirational Tuesday to get you going for your week. Yesterday was basically, I usually do like a go-getter Monday. But today I did it as a Tuesday um, so we can work on doing our goals and continue doing the week. For those who's going to be watching the video on YouTube, welcome, welcome my YouTube subscribers. So glad to have you here. I do a lot of vid live videos on my group. So if you want to join my group, The Entrepreneur Crafter, please see the link below and I will add the link. I would love for you to join the group. Um, Inspirational Tuesday is all about up-leveling ourselves, up-leveling our business. So today's topic is, are you speaking what you want in your business? Meaning, are you speaking it into existence? I'm a church-going girl. I, I love going to church and I like, hey, I like going to church. Who doesn't? <laughs> but... A lot of times I don't speak into existence of certain things that I want to happen. And I should. Why shouldn't we? Like I would say something like, I'm going to do this. I'm thinking about doing that. And I do it myself. We all do it. But imagine the power of speaking it into our business saying, okay, this is what is going to happen. But then at this X amount of time, this is going to be mine. This is going to be what I'm going to do. Instead of saying, you know, uh, yeah, one day it's going to happen. I'm going to be a speaker. I'm going to be a motivational speaker. I'm going to be. I'm. There's no like if, ands, or buts. This is what I want. So I'm speaking it into existence now. Is I will be a motivational speaker to help women. That's something that I want to do. That's something that I feel in my gut and my soul. So instead of saying, I want one day, I'm going to speak it into existence. And that's how we should do in our business, women. When we're, we, we want things and we, we need things and we would like things to happen, instead of saying, okay, I'm going to be in a gift shop one day, say, I will be. That's what I mean by speaking into existence. If you're joining the video, please come in, comment. I love acknowledging all the beautiful people in the group. Um, again, for the YouTube followers, I welcome you as well. And in business, I have always think that we sometimes we don't <sighs> truthfully we we have that thing where we have we second guess ourselves i know i do it myself good morning anita how are you and sometimes we second guess ourselves on what we what we can do and what we're capable of doing and to me we're capable of doing anything we want to do no matter what unless our hands is broken and our legs is broken we can do whatever we want to do now, of course, our hands might get a little bit carpal tunnel and a little bit arthritis here and there. But as long as i got fingers and they do move, I'm going to be creative and I'm going to do this. So I feel that we can do whatever we want to do. So instead of saying, okay, one day I would like to be in the gift shop, speak it into existence. Speak it into your business. Say, okay, I will be in X amount of gift shops by this date. I will be in this craft show this year so speak it so that it can happen so it's in your brain like okay this is what i'm going this is going to happen instead of saying one day it's going to happen so with that mindset that'll keep us going in our business and to keep it flowing and it won't be where we're second guessing ourselves i know i want to be and i i always say i want to be but no i speak it into existence i'm going to be a motivational speaker for women for women crafters, I'm going to be. It's going to happen. And that's my mindset now that it's going to happen. Whether it be next year or the year after, it's going to happen. So that's what I mean by speaking it into existence. Like, okay, this year, I'm going to have a craft show. I'm going to do a craft show. It's happening in November. Okay, I should have said in the beginning that I'm going to do X amount of craft shows. I didn't. I just picked one. So I know next year I'm going to be in six craft shows. So it's not going to be I want. I'm going to think about it. It's I'm going to be. So if you have that I'm going to be attitude towards your business, 
you seem to get more accomplished because you have that mindset and you won't be second guessing yourself. Because as women crafters, we sometimes we second guess ourselves. I know I do it. I second guess whether this is going to sell. Um, I second guess, well, okay, is this going to be a good craft show? I'm not sure. I mean, we all second guess ourselves. And it's, it's part of nature. It's what we do automatically. But imagine the possibility and the strong mind that we will have if we say, it's going to happen. I'm going to do it. No if, answer, but it's going to be done. And to have that mentality in our business, it's, it's wonderful because we have that where we like, okay, there's no more if, ands, or buts about my business. I know where I want it to be. So it's going to happen. So speak, speak it into existence. Speak it into your business. Whatever it is that you want, whatever it is that you desire, whatever it is that you would love to have, speak it into your business. I would love to be in eight gift shops. Say that. I'm going, instead of saying I would love to be, switch it. I'm going to be in eight gift shops. Because when you say I would love, that's something like, okay, I would love to and eventually it's going to happen. Like, okay, yeah, maybe. But if you say, it's yes, I will be in six gift shops, then yes, speak it into existence. Speak whatever you want into your business for it to happen. It's a powerful thing when you speak it. When you say, this is it, this is, this is what I'm, 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 I want, this is what I'm, I, I desire, this is what I want to do. I told myself, and this, the reason why I'm saying that it does work is, I told myself six months ago that I said, I'm going to be in a business setting with a bunch of other women coaching. And I spoke it, and I said, I'm I want this. This is going to happen. I'm going to. It's I'm going to be in that venue. And I am. Come next week, I'm going to be in the venue with other business coaches because I spoke it into my business because this is what I desired, what I wanted, and it is what set my soul on fire. So think of things that set your soul on fire and that you want and you desire and speak it into your business. You want to get more sales. Instead of saying, okay, I want more sales. Do whatever you can. Get those sales. I'm going to have six sales this week. And I bet you by you saying I'm going to have six sales and you work, you work even harder because that's what you want. By saying, okay, yes, I would like six sales or maybe next week I want this. No, I want this. I, I need it now. I have to have it now. Good morning, good morning. How are you? Um, Mel Melanie, I'm hoping I'm saying that correctly. Um, so good to have you here. We're getting some new faces in the group with the live group, and I'm so grateful. For those also, I'm sorry I didn't say in the beginning, for those that are new in the group, welcome, welcome. I didn't get a chance to do my big welcome and, and everything. So welcome, definitely welcome, Melanie. So good to have you here. So when we're speaking what we want in our business. We're saying that there's no doubt in our mind, there's no, no second guessing, there's no if, ands, or buts. That's what I want to desire, that's what I want to have. And speak it into your business. I would like sales. I'm going to have sales. I'm going to have this. And that makes us, like I say, work harder. I know sometimes I didn't want to do certain things and I, I know that there's sometimes I like second guess certain things and it's like I said it's natural but now 2018 September 2018 we have a few months left and we have things that we want to complete and we want to do in our business what do you have planned within the next few months that you want that you desire that you've got to have Write them down. Speak it into your business. And say it. If you have to say it every day. I'm going to have this. I'm going to be in this. I'm going to accomplish this. Because that makes us work harder. I'm living proof. I said, six months ago, I said, I'm going to be in a venue with a, with a bunch of other women business coaching. And it's going to happen. I, I, I leave next week. 
So speaking into your business, and I, I'm speaking more and more of what I want in my business. I wrote one book. I'm going to write two more. So speak it and it will happen. Because if we have that positive mindset of what we want and desire in our head instead of the second guessing, there's so much more we can do. So much more. Because I know we second guess ourselves on some things and it's okay, but when we're running our business, let's not do that. When men, men don't second guess nothing. They, they just don't care. They just do it. And sometimes we have to just do it and push forward and say, I'm, I'm going to do this. This is it. I will have this and just have that and say, okay, I know I want to be in four gift shops or something like that. Has an example. Start saying, I'm going to be in four gift shops. And keep saying it every day. I'm going to be in four gift shops. Because when you're saying that, that's going to push you to say, well, Dawn, since I'm going to be in those four gift shops, I need to go find them. I need to find out where they're at. Are they near me? Are they beneficial to my business? Are they going to bring me a, a profit? And how can I get the ship there? And who do I contact? So by saying that I'm going to be in those gift shops, that makes you move forward to say, okay, fine. What do I need to do to be in those gift shops? The same with anything that you want. Okay, I want six sales. Okay, I want, and I'm going to have six sales. My mistake. I'm going to have six sales. Okay, what am I doing to get them six sales? First of all, I need a time frame. Okay, now I have my time frame. Okay, what am I doing to get those six sales? Because I know I'm going to have them. So, am I doing this? Am I doing enough of this? Maybe I need to do more of this. Or I haven't tried this. So that makes you think even more because you're like, okay, that my end goal is six sales. So what am I needing? What am I doing? And what do I have to do to get what I want? Speak it into your business. Speak whatever you want into your business because that's how you're going to achieve. That's how you're going to move further. Hello, Carissa. So glad to have you here. Just speak what you want. It's okay. No matter what it is, speak it, write it down. Do whatever you need to get to those goals or to get to whatever you want to achieve. If you want to be in and have your, your own gift shop, instead of saying, okay, I thinking about it maybe one day, start saying, I'm going to have. It's going to happen. Now, now that I'm going to have my gift shop, what do I need to do to have it? Because if we say, well, one day, oh, Carissa, good morning. <laughs> if we say, well, one day, well, okay, one day I might have it or, or I'm thinking about having it and it's a thought, you know, that's a thought process. But if we speak it into our business and we say, okay, I'm going to have a gift shop. I'm going to have it by this amount of time. And give yourself a time frame. And once you do that, you'll be like, well, Dawn, since I'm going to have a gift shop, what do I need to do to have that gift shop? And I tell you this from experience. I knew I wanted to have a gift shop. I gave myself a year because I wanted to make sure I had everything in place. And I kept saying, I'm going to have a gift shop. Okay. My mind was telling me, in order to have a gift shop, first I have to have inventory. Okay, so that I knew I had to work on my inventory. And then after the gift shop, Excuse my hair's out of place. Sorry, ladies. <laughs> and then after the gift shop, I was like, okay, I need an inventory. Okay. Once I had enough inventory, then I'm like, okay, if I have a gift shop and let's say I don't get sales one, one month, should I have people come in to rent a space or rent an area and charge them commission? Hmm. Good idea. Because then that way I'll still be able to pay, pay the rent for my space. Okay. So I knew to do that, I need to get a contract set up what percentage I wanted to charge, how I wanted the contract to look. So that's what I mean, the steps. So when you're saying, I'm going to have this, you work harder, you work even harder to get it because you know that you're going to have it and you're giving yourself a time frame. So you're going to say, okay, this is what I need to do step by step in order to get this. So when I say speak it, positive, like, like Carissa says, positive thinking makes the difference between a dream and a reality. Carissa, I'm going to use that and I'm going to post that on my vision board. <laughs> and yes, and I've talked about a vision board. 
Um, if you haven't done one, definitely do a vision board. Thank you for all the hearts. Do a vision board. And mine is a little unorthodox, but it's a vision board. And it, I add things into it. Like, my, mine is words. I do words. And some people do pictures. But it's, it's all a vision board of things that I want to accomplish. Of things that I want, I, I want and I'm going to have. And it's easy to create a vision board. Um, you can get a, a, a board, a paint board from um, Michaels or AC Moore. They come two in a pack. Um, your vision board doesn't have to be huge. It just has to be something that you want to accomplish if you want to do a vision board. But as I was saying, speak everything into your business. Speak it, have that negative, no, that positive. Keep the negative out. Keep the second guessing out. Keep positive in your business and it will go far. Speak whatever you want into your business and it will happen. It will. Because you have to have that mindset. You, you have to believe. If you believe in your business and you believe in the success of your business, then it will happen. It will happen, ladies. So that's it for my Inspirational Tuesday. I didn't have my coffee this morning like I usually have. Otherwise, I'll be talking up a storm. Um, but just wanted to put in the Inspirational Tuesday. Get you ladies going with your goals. Don't forget... Um, I put the goals for your goals for the week. Definitely do your goals. I thank you ladies for coming in. Melanie, Anita, Carissa, and all the other ladies who's watching. If you're watching the replay, definitely put hashtag replay. Would love to have you come in and see what you have to say about the Inspirational Tuesday. I appreciate you all so much. Go out there, complete them goals. Remember, speak whatever you want into existence. Speak it into your business and it will happen. Have that feeling, that gut feeling, that desire that, okay, I'm going to do this. This is going to happen. This is going to happen. And it'll go far and your, your business will be successful. You have to have that positive mindset. Positive mindset is what gets you moving, what gets you going. Thank you, Melanie, again, for coming in. Ladies, have a great Tuesday. Um, Carissa, I'll be seeing you over at the Accountability Booster Program because we got lots to do for that program. It ends this week. Um, for those who's watching the video, I will be doing one more two-week session for the Accountability Booster Program. And that's where you work with me one-on-one -on -one for two weeks. You get to have a business coach for two weeks who has hands-on in your business, who helps you with your goals and complete your goals. We've had some beautiful women in the Accountability Booster for two weeks. You get to have me for $27. How, how many business coaches you know that actually gives $27 for two weeks of their services? With the Accountability Booster Program, I'm going to start it on the 17th because one lady did sign up. I um, would love for you to join her. Um, it's a great program. It really gets your juices flowing. And when I say with Accountability Booster, I push you to no end when it comes to your goals. Carissa will tell you, <laughs> I really push these ladies because I believe in your business so much. And I want you to just go after it. So definitely, if you haven't gotten into the program, it will start again for two weeks on the 17th and will end on the 28th. So I will be posting that sometime next week if you want to get in on it. So definitely, I thank you ladies for coming in. Have a great Tuesday and definitely work them businesses, get them goals going and have that positive mindset and speak everything you want into your business. Thank you ladies. Have a good Tuesday.